miss it? Oh no, it's fine. We got another bear coming up here. Jordan's my first client. We got this one. I'm feeling like this career can either be hell or it could be heaven, depending on how prepared you are and how you set up your business, how many hours you're working, how good you're taking care of your body. Because look, you can make a very nice living working 15 hours, 15 sessions a week. If you're charging over $100 per session, that's $1,500 a week times four is $6,000 a month times 12 is $72,000 a year. It's not too hard. All you gotta do is get a couple loyal clients, get some people who will call you every so often, and make sure that you're giving value enough to charge over $100 a session. And then uh, it's not that hard to take care of yourself when you're only doing 15 sessions a week. You can even go down to 10 and be okay. You know, your lifestyle doesn't have to be so extravagant. You can just live a basic, a basic, comfortable, beautiful life. As long as you take care of yourself. Massage therapy is an amazing business. Word of mouth spreads. You don't have to advertise. Just get a Google a Google page and get some good reviews on there. It's, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good about it. And you make your own schedule. You don't have to work to the bone. You don't have to work nights. You know, like it's, it's really nice. You get a great feeling from helping people and it, it encourages you to be the best version of yourself when it comes to health. And um, you know, people don't talk about it like this a lot. So I'm talking about it. You know, you don't have to go be a physical therapist and work for the man and spend a lot of time doing paperwork and not being able to do the therapy treatment that you want, that you believe in. No, you can be your own boss. You can be your own boss. Make your own rules. Help people the way you want to help them. And it's a really, really nice thing. I recommend it to anybody who feels drawn towards healing, who feels drawn towards, grab this parking spot, we're gonna go to the beach. Drawn towards health, drawn towards raising humanity. And you have a uh, empathy for people in pain parallel parking while making a YouTube video. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. Hey. Hey. Boca Raton. So do I talk to my patients when they're on the table? Of course, of course. At least the first minute or so, just to catch up. I definitely, I feel this need to really know what's going on in my, my patients' lives. You know, they're my friends and they appreciate it. It's really important to build a personal relationship with these people and share life together. Just be a real genuine person, you know what I'm saying? And you can sense very fast if they don't want to conversate, if they just want to relax. And then you just say, all right, let's relax. And that's basically saying, all right, I get the picture. We're just gonna massage and relax together. And that's it. You can easily tell if they just want to relax or if they're willing to talk, if they're adding in their own comments, if they're responding shortly, just by the tone of their voice. So, don't ever feel like you can't talk to your patients. Ask them, how is your family? Ask them, uh, you know, how their body feels, how the exercise routine is going. People who are interested in health are generally uh, excited to talk about their fitness routine. Um, not all the time, their, their nutrition, their family, their hobbies. Talk, talk to them about all the stuff that makes them happy, you know, because I just want to put my people in a realm of relaxation and paradise. 
you know you're listening to the music you're thinking about the things that make you happy in life i want them to think about the things that refresh them and rejuvenate them and heal them i want them to smile and think about cute things like disney and and cartoons and childhood and nature and i want them you know to be in that zone so that they can relax and heal better and that's part that's part of what we do you know what i'm saying is bringing them to paradise relieving that stress and really healing them psychologically giving them space if they need space and the most important thing i learned from david hawkins is you know you just the most healing thing is love that's it if you really love them if you can come to the therapy session in the state of love then uh that's just as important as what you physically do with all your mental techniques sometimes people just need to be in a space of emotional embrace inclusion non-analytic one second you're not analyzing them you're not trying to figure them out you're just being with them you're just sharing this moment happy emotions you're humming you're singing if it's appropriate listen David Hawkins was one of the most successful psychologists, psychotherapists in the USA. He had thousands of people working with him. Huge industry. And that's what he says. He says that the most important thing is loving your patients. And the deeper you can do that, the more healing and peace they're going to feel. So that's why it's, it's so important that we bring that in ourselves. Because that's the only way that we can bring it to them is if we're genuinely feeling those things inside of us. So that's what this is all about. It's not just about the body. It's about harnessing higher consciousness and bringing that um, to every person that we're in contact with. It's not just work. Here we are. Hey, Boop. Hey, Boop, you're on camera. Christmas, Boopy. You're crazy. You're so pretty. A new blunder. unfair that I can use this art 
make it into a video. We can all see it. It's a painting. We're looking at a painting. The universe just painted this. It's the most interactive painting in the world. And there's no explanation for it. Doesn't it make you curious?